Hello together, my name is Walter and today I am going to tell you the story of how I became the Elden Lord with nothing but a shield in my hand and a gut full of hate. It all began when I was just a young lad. I wanted to be famous but became tarnished instead. I swore off my axe and decided to never wield a weapon again. Well, it didn't work out that well. All I wished to do was to live my life in peace. But I was bullied by a monstrosity and mocked by a vagrant. Tears in my eyes, I ran until my feet could no longer carry me. Night had fallen when I was approached by a maiden appearing out of thin air. Her name was Melina and she whispered promises of power in my ears, obscuring my mind and making me breathe bloody vengeance. But what was I out to do, unable to ever wield a weapon again? I traveled the lands far and wide until I finally found my answer. A giant bond with large spikes to rip deep gashes into everyone and everything for every wrong they inflicted to me in the past and the future. I had to become stronger quickly, so I decided to go big. It already was too late to go home. I looked for the largest creature I could find and ripped it to shreds. I called upon Melina and she bestowed the promised power onto me. I shall never falter. Furthermore, she invited me to visit the so-called Round Table Hold. Apparently a watering hole for a bunch of hoodlums. Beside one person, a shackled blacksmith by the name of Hugh. He offered his services to me. I ordered him to sharpen the spikes on my board. I barged into the castle. I still had business to do. Eradicate the source of the monstrosity. I faced a peasant named oh. Margit, who surprisingly turned out to be quite a worthy opponent. Unexpectedly, I failed. I decided to hone my skills and come back. I just didn't want to defeat him. I wanted to annihilate him. Fueled by the raging fire inside me, I kept charging into everything that stood in my way. Until I mastered the technique to protect myself and slice my opponents at the same time. I was also able to acquire banner protective gear. I went back to the castle to yes, face Margaret no. again. Did not have an answer to my new technique. I kept yes. crashing into him, taking his life force no. little by little. No. His will to fight was strong though and we kept exchanging blows. But in the end... Goodbye Margaret. Even though Margaret perished, I had to become even stronger. I had to improve my overall condition, especially my stamina, to be able to withstand any attack. I ventured further into the castle to the point where a Godric dared to approach me. I told he's already dead and smashed my board straight into his face until he began screaming for his life. Some you. say you can still hear the echoes lingering in the castle. My shield reflected my bloodlust oh so well, but it lacked the cold of my slowly freezing heart. I heard whispers in the shadows that a glintstone wet blade is hidden within the Raya Lucaria Academy. The scholars refused to hand it over, so I had to use force to take what is mine. I returned to Yuk and had him use his skills and the whetstone to fuse my board with frostbite. I returned to the academy to make the so-called queen pay for the audacity to deny me access. She sent young links and spirit dragons to oppose me, but without any use. From my remains, I gathered a great room. I found something similar from the screaming guy. I went back to the round table to ask around. The talking raisin seemed impressed. It said I could become the new Elden Lord. Never will anybody be heard again. My power kept growing and with it the desire for stronger equipment. I ripped the armor from helpless knights and learned to use my shield more effectively. I made a name for myself and was invited by numerous admirers to join the festival. As it turned out, it was a farce. They lured me here to fight alongside them against Rudan, supposedly one of the strongest demigods, pitiful poltroons. I told them to wait and would be back in just a minute. Rudan was a coward resorting to cheap tricks. Okay. Once I was close, I would show him how to fight. Now, now. I hit rock bottom. It seemed this kung fu was stronger than mine. What was I supposed to do? Enter the training arc. Jeez. He threw oh, meteors after me, crushed me with gravity, and even stopped the time. 
I am already broken. You cannot break me again. There we go. <laughs> the next step to claim my title as Elden Lord was to enter the royal capital, Landell. I approached the city and banged on their gates. My efforts were in vain. Do you fear me that much? That you must entrench yourself behind giant walls? My heart was pounding furious blood through my veins, flooding my mind with contempt. I searched the perimeter thoroughly and my efforts were rewarded. A back entrance. I put down the guard horse and stepped inside the inner ring of the city. He is Walter. It didn't take long until I found Godfrey. At least, that is what I thought. The recreant left an image of himself. I don't tolerate such monkey business. I shatter the image into particles Yay! just to be introduced to another self-proclaimed royalty. The Omen King. He had a couple of tricks up his sleeve, but nothing I could not handle. Now it is time for the real fight. So I thought. My entrance was hindered by some scrub that I, according to my maiden, have to burn down. How hard can it be to become Elden Lord? I prepared for my journey to the mountaintop of the giants. Some guy was so generous to give me warmer clothing and a priest taught me how to utilize my bloodlust. I had one encounter though that made me think. I fought a grotesque creature called Mog. It refused to bleed. I could rip as many chunks out as I wanted. I was denied the sight of glorious crimson. In the end, yes! God damn! I smashed its body to a viscous pulp. This should be my backup plan from now on, but I need a proper shield to fulfill this requirement. I ventured into the deepest depths to retrieve what I need. A slab of stone. We have it? A worthy addition to my board with spikes. Finally, I was ready for my trip to the freezing lands in the east. It didn't take long until I reached my destination. The fire giant. He toasted and slapped me like a grilled cheese sandwich, but I should prevail. This could be it. Yes! I shook my maiden's hand and we burned the scrub, just to find myself on a crumbling island in the sky. My way out, a path was blocked by Laurel and Hardy. They wanted to good laugh with me. Yep. Nope. But after some missed puns, they left. Oh my god, we have it. To my surprise, I found a talking jar again, who immediately sucker punched me in the face. World never changes. At least I was able to perfect my charging attack. One more stepping stone to leave this forsaken place. It was just a dirt slinging clergyman, what should happen? My beloved board could not withstand his punishment. It was time to say goodbye. I stripped off my fur coat and gripped my stone slab. It felt good. The beast zoomed around and flung laser and dirt after me. But now, you should probably know what happens. Finally, I was back. Next stop, Elden Lord. I ran back to the entrance, just to be interrupted by some puny human. He wanted to say something, but I broke every bone in his body before he could finish. I entered the plaza again to have a chat with the real Godfrey. Now you will pay for your folly. It was an enduring fight. His tenacity was outrageous. I slapped my slab on his face and all it did was making him more furious. A perseverant stone was greater. Now it is time to step through the fog one last time.